Hey, how's it going? Todd here with Vidivo, and today we're talking about motion capture animation. In particular, some ways that you can try motion capture right now yourself for free. So these days, all things visual effects and virtual production and anything related to the CG world are kind of on the rise. Everyone's kind of getting started with it. And a big part of that is having animated characters. If you're like me, you're not very good at animating things by keyframe, like just basically doing it by hand with keyframes. It, it takes a long time and everything still kind of ends up not looking quite perfect. And that's why I got into motion capture. Motion capture is a way to record real movement, have real animations from, you know, things that you are actually doing, whether it be in a motion capture suit or using some of the tools that I'm talking about today. This is my Rococo Smart Suit Pro 2, which is a motion capture suit that you can get for between three and four grand, depending on which accessories you get. That may sound like a lot, but if you compare it to the next best option, you're around $16,000 less than even the most entry level models of other options. It comes with some nice software called Rococo Studio that's free to use and free to download, and that comes with some free animations that you can try if you want to. Just a few years ago, a tool like this would not have been available, and it's really cool to see this stuff becoming more and more accessible. So let's say you want to try motion capture, but you don't want to fork out all the money for a Rococo suit uh, just to get started. You kind of want to just test out some different workflows and, and give it a try. Um, there's actually a lot of really cool ways to Try motion capture for free. One of the best places to start is a web-based Adobe tool called Mixamo. Mixamo has a bunch of royalty-free characters and motion capture animations that you can immediately download and start using in your renders. It also has a really powerful auto-rigging tool for when you've designed your own characters and you want to get them rigged up, which means kind of adding the bones and everything you need to have them animated. It's free to use and it's really fun and powerful. Um, so first off, we're going to be working in Blender here um, because Blender is a piece of free open source software. So you can download it right now and start playing around. I've imported this this uh, this guy. He's a mocap guy. I just thought that was like kind of on on the theme. So let's say we want him to be doing uh, this capoeira move right here. We're going to be using the Blender Rococo add-on, which is also free. And so it's really cool. It's made by the same people who made the motion capture suit I was showing you before. And you use it with the motion capture suit or without. If you just wanted to use it as a retargeting tool, you can. And it's free, so why not? So we will download that from the Rococo website. There is a Rococo Blender page here. And you can download Rococo Studio and the plugin. So you'll download that. And then you'll install it in Blender. Hit the Edit tab. Go to Preferences, Add-ons. And we will hit install and find where we have that zip file that you just downloaded from the Rococo website and you will install it. And once you have that, you can uh, open up this little Rococo tab on the side here. If you don't see it, just hit the N key and that will all pop back out. So uh, we've downloaded that uh, army guy doing the little dance and I'm gonna import it now. So we're gonna go to file, import, FBX, and I'm gonna find where I have that saved and it just happens to be right here. So we're gonna click on this FBX file, we're going to drop down this little armature thing and make sure that automatic bone orientation is checked because otherwise some super weird stuff happens. So what we're gonna do is we're going to drop down the retargeting tab in the Rococo plugin here, and we're going to select the source. For that, we're gonna drop, use this little medicine dropper. We're gonna select the armature of the army dude, and we're gonna hit that. And we're going to go to target and now that's going to be the rig that we want to send the motion capture data to so i'm going to hit uh, the second armature here and then we just click build bone list and it's going to automatically kind of detect different bones now we should be able to retarget and so now our motion capture suit guy is doing uh this capoeira move and that is how that's how this all works Okay, but let's say you want to add your own motion, like things that you are actually doing to a scene. So you want custom mocap and you're not finding what you want on Mixamo. There's another tool that I'm also very excited about and it uses artificial intelligence to look at a video file and extract motion capture data from that. There's a few of them out there, but the one that I've found to be the most consistent is this one. It's called Plask. 
and it's just web-based. So you can just go to plask.ai, launch the platform, and do and see exactly what I'm looking at right now. And again, it's free. What I did was I recorded myself on a flat background. I wanted to make sure that the AI didn't have anything else that it was looking at other than my motion. I did one where I was dressed normally, just basically what I was wearing at the time. And it, you know, you probably don't want to have loose clothes. You probably don't want to have, you know, something that's, it's just, you know, you got to think like, how do I feed the AI with something that's going to work the best? And then I did one where I marked up my outfit uh, with stuff that I thought might help the AI tracker. So I just put a bunch of masking tape all over my clothes and wore something with a bit more texture on it. And I wanted to see what the differences were in terms of how well the AI responded to it. And uh, yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. So it's this easy. We're going to go into Plask and we're going to hit the plus button and we're going to find a video file. Now I've already kind of set up some video files here. These are the tests that I was running before. And so here's my normal clothes test and it's already got it all loaded up here. And all you gotta do, and I'm gonna go ahead and start it with a T-pose, and all you gotta do is hit extract. You'll see we now we have normal clothes over on the side here, and you can just drag it onto any one of their sort of test objects. I'm just gonna use this mannequin. I'm gonna drag it on, and it's going to add that motion capture data to a rig character so you can just kind of check it out. So here we go, this is our T-pose here, and then I'm gonna hit play. And that is the motion from that video applied to this character. And it look at that. I just gave it a video file and here we go. I've got an animated character. The thing that I will say that I've noticed is it doesn't tend to keep good track of the feet. It's, it's doing good stuff with the arms, but you can see he's kind of leaning forward and the feet are sort of floating. So that is definitely a limitation of it. So let's see what it does with the weird uh, masking tape clothes version, see if it does any better. So I kind of tried to do the same motion both times, just some waving and moving my feet around because I want to see if I can fix uh, the way that it's tracking the feet. So let's, uh, let's extract that data. Kind of astonishingly, it seems like it did just about as good. I thought it would, it would do a little bit better with the feet. This is super impressive that you're able to do this for free. So if you wanted to use this in a scene, you know, maybe just occlude the feet, just put some tall grass in the scene or just something blocking the feet or just, you know, get the shot from the, the shoulders up or something. Or let's say you don't even want to go through the trouble of recording yourself. Uh, you can find some stuff on Vidivo and give that a try. So I found quite a few little shots of people walking on green screens or dancing or whatever. And you can just put that straight into Plask and, and give that a try. So let's see what Plask does with this. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like that's pretty impressive. <laughs> it tracked the feet pretty well in that shot, actually. But I feel like that's pretty good. And all that from a video file. Yeah, that did really good. Let's watch that zombie start dancing here. See how it did. Oh yeah, get it. Get it, zombie. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, zombie. Yeah. So while there are definitely still some kinks to iron out, it's still pretty crazy that you can take a video file and turn it into stuff like this. And it's certainly not perfect, there's definitely some kinks, but remember, it's AI, so it's using machine learning, and it's only going to get better from here. I can imagine it won't be very long before all other types of motion capture are outdated. So I hope you guys found this video uh, at least somewhat helpful or inspiring to maybe uh, give motion capture a try yourself. It's really fun, it's become a big part of what I do and what I enjoy creatively, and so yeah, I just, you know, I want more people giving it a shot and it's crazy how fast the industry is moving and how these tools are getting more accessible for everyone. So yeah, give it a shot and uh, have some fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see all of you next time.